guys, welcome back to The Bright Side. Macy here, The Bright Side Girl, and today we are doing my Scallywagathon TBR. If you guys aren't familiar, Scallywagathon is a pirate themed readathon that's hosted mainly by the Hardback Hoarder, and I think this is the third year running something like that. I have been waiting for this readathon since January because I have a goal to do a five readathons this year, and this originally was going to be the first readathon that I was doing this year. I have a soft spot for themed readathons, and I didn't get a chance to do this one last year, so I have been waiting, and they just announced the video like two days ago, and I only have three days to prepare, and I have company coming, and it is like the worst week ever, and I'm really sorry that this video is coming up to you like right before or right on the readathon. I only found out about it a few days ago because they announced the video very close to when it was coming out, so hopefully you can still participate. This year the readathon is Space Pirate themed, so there is a really cool map I'll show right here that is kind of themed around space. This is a loose themed readathon. You don't have to read only space books. You don't have to read only pirate books. You can follow the map if you want. You can follow the challenges, all of that stuff, but you certainly don't have to. So you start off following a certain number or letter and then you go along to see where the challenges are. So there's a list of challenges and then the map. It's kind of confusing if you don't just like go look at it, but I'll put the link for the map down in the description as well as the original announcement video. But I haven't really looked at the map thoroughly. I am gonna say, as much as this is a loose themed read readathon, I am a themed girl. So I will mostly be reading, if not all, pirate, space themed, nautical, mermaid type books. That's gonna be me, gonna follow along. So whatever the prompts are, that's gonna be my goal. I am gonna preface that I have company coming on Monday, so the day after the readathon starts, because it goes May 5th through May 12th, which I'm not sure if it's an eight day readathon or if it ends May 12th. We'll see. I will be vlogging the entire thing as well, so stay tuned for that. But I have a friend coming on Monday, the day after, and she's not leaving until Thursday, and I'm just not gonna be able to do as much reading as I would like to because of that, because I wanna hang out with her and have fun with her. So my goal is to read at least two audiobooks and two physical books, so four books in total. I think that that's gonna be doable because I'll have the full Sunday before she comes and then the Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday and Sunday to get some more reading and I can do a lot more audiobooks, which is probably what I'm gonna lean towards since she's gonna be here and all that kind of stuff. So, and we're probably gonna be staying up late and having lots of fun. We might be going to the beach, so I might get some reading done there. We'll just have to see, but I'm gonna aim for four books in total, two audiobooks, and two regular books. So we're gonna pick a spot on the map, and we're gonna go down and pick some of my TBR books. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with number four, which is Low Tide, a book that is under 200 pages because I don't have a ton of reading time. So, and this one has been on my list like since the beginning of my booktube career. So I'm gonna start with this one, The Short and Bloody History of Knights, Spies, and Pirates by John Farman. This is a nonfiction book all about knights, spies, and pirates, and I've had it for a long time, and it has like really cute cover of like fun illustrations and stuff, so this should be one that I can just knock off the list really quickly. From there I have option to choose number eight or number seven. Number seven being Blow Down the Man, a book written by a female, and number eight being a Mutiny. So for at number seven, I'm actually going to listen to Beauty Queens by Libba Bray on audiobook. I have read this one a couple years ago, and I kind of wanted to dive back into it because it's about beauty queens that get stranded on a desert island, and I'm in that like stranded survival mode, plus there's piratey things that happen in this as well, and I've been wanting to dive back in, and I think Libra Bray narrates the audiobook, so I'm really curious to see like how that goes. From there, I can either go all the way down to B or sidetrack to C, and I'm going to sidetrack to C and read a book that I've been afeared to pick up. So <laughs> this is a book you've been afraid to read, and for that one I'm gonna go with Zenith by Sasha Allsberg and Lindsay Cummings. This is by Sasha Allsberg here on Booktube and Lindsay Cummings, who has written, I think, the Murder Complex, which I haven't read yet either. Um, this one has been on my TBR in the back of my brain, just one that I kind of want to check off. I've been a little bit afraid to read it because because it's gotten not the best reviews. I want to really like it so that I can have a positive review about a peer because it's always 
weird to read books that you like really are familiar with the personalities of the authors. So we're going to go with this one. I'll probably do this one on audiobook as well. From there I am led to Planet 10, which is a book you recently hauled. And I am going to read Aurora Rising by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This is their newest book. It's not even out yet. It comes out on Tuesday and I should be getting it Tuesday or Wednesday because it's the only book that I have pre-ordered and I'll get into that in my book haul because there is a reason for that. Um, I don't want to rush through reading this, but this is probably going be my main physical reading book for the month. I'm really really excited to get into it. This one's about flight school and there might be somewhat space piratey vibes. <laughs> I don't know. Hopefully we'll cross your fingers and see. And from there I have completed my journey so that seems totally doable. I am going to show you guys a couple other piratey books that I have on hand in case something doesn't work for me or in case I want to switch it up. So I have Song of the Current by Sarah Tolkser. I don't know anything about this. I originally thought it was mermaidy, but I'm pretty sure it's piratey. So we'll try that one maybe. And I have two Captain Hook retellings. I have Hook's Revenge by Heidi Schultz, which is, which is a very short book. So I might be able to get to this one. It just looks so, so cute. And it's about Hook's daughter and getting revenge for him, I think on Peter Pan. And then we have Captain Hook which this one's illustrated by Brett Hellquest. He has a series of unfortunate events books, and this is like kind of giving Captain Hook like a heart. And I really like retellings, especially like on villains. So I have these two. And then I'd love to get to The Girl From Everywhere by Heidi Helig. This is part of a duology, and I think this is about time traveling pirates, pirate ships. Not really sure, but hoping there might be mermaids too. And then the last one that I would like to get to, obviously I'm not going to get to all of these, but just keep them in the back of your brain, is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. This is about like falling stars and pirates and witches and magic, and I love the movie and it's on my bucket list of books that I want to read in my lifetime. So hopefully we can get to this one too, and I think Neil Gaiman narrates it. Okay, you guys, like I said, I'll put the link down below for the announcement video as well as the map. You can also follow Scallywagathon on Twitter. I don't think that they have an Instagram, but you can check. We'll be posting a week-long readathon of vlog. Whenever I'm finished with this, we'll have to see how fast I can get it edited. I'm not sure how amazing the vlog's going to be because I don't really want to force my friend to be on camera, but maybe I can, like, sneak some other things in there. We will just have to see how it goes, but hope you guys are participating. Let me know down below in the comments. Let me know some priority reads that you want to get to. If you guys want some more recommendations, I have a few more up my sleeve that I have read that I can send your way if you're interested. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on the Bright Side. Bye!